Hey guys, day 10 of 10, um, cause I'm leaving for California tomorrow, and I will be gone until March 21st, I believe. Um, so there will be no more videos, uh, until I get back, definitely. Uh, I might film stuff while I'm gone, though, so maybe you'll have videos when I get back without me having to actually sit down and make videos. Um, but... Chrissy will still be checking the messages and responding to you guys, so don't hesitate to just come and say hi. Um, she won't be on as much as I am because she is busy with her business with her husband, but um, that's, you know, that's life. She'll still be there, so like I said, don't hesitate to talk to her. She's really friendly and she's awesome. Um... But yeah, uh, that's something I was going to say. Oh yeah, Superversary! It's coming up on March 9th. And um, I'm going to make a video, and hopefully Chrissy will post it for me. But if not, I'll post it belatedly when I get back. But just wanted to let you guys know we're a year old! Woohoo! I'm so excited! Um, it's hard to believe that we've been going for a whole year already. And I'm still not tired of it. And, um, I never will be. More and more. It's just like, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm meant to do. So, um, I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see what God continues to do in our ministry and in, you know, your guys, like, not your guys, you, you guys, like, in your lives. And, um, I just, I really look forward to everything. And I'm really blessed to even be able to do something like this. Um, I guess anybody can start a group, but it takes something to have people watching and paying attention, and I know we only get, like, you know, ten views on a video, but it means the world to me to know that people are actually watching and paying attention, and even if it's people I know from, you know, church or whatever, it's fine, because if I'm talking to even just one, one person, then it's worth it. So, I'm going to keep it short again, but I just wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about reasons why to live, because I had a list of reasons why not to go back to self-harm, and, um, I wanted to talk to you about reasons why you should live. So, I'm completely winging it here, so if I get lost, I am really sorry, but, um, one reason is because your family and your friends love you. And two, it's because God created you exactly as you were intended to be. And he has a purpose for you. And he needs you to stay here to do what you were meant to do. And you may not see your purpose yet, but you are important. And you are needed, and you are wanted, and you are special, and you are loved more than you will ever know. And, um, three is, was I on three or four? I think three. Um, three is, who doesn't love the sunshine, or the sunset? Like, it's little things that make me want to stay alive, personally. Um, like I, like I mentioned before, I, I think I have a jar of little things that make me want to stay alive. And, uh, make me remember why I'm still here. So I'm going to go through those, not all of them, but some of these with you. And encourage you to actually make a jar like mine. Mine is almost full. And, um, the idea was that I will, every time I'm sad or upset, I pull out one, and it's forcing me to think about not only the good that's on this paper, but I have to write a new one. So, this one is actually an inside joke between me and Chrissy, but it says, singing for fun. Um, singing for fun is a little joy in life, I guess. And sometimes I got wrapped too much in the professionalism of it, I guess. 
or however you want to say that. Um, but now I'm done with this one, and I'm going to write a new one, because that's how it works. Forcing me to replace a, a positive with another positive and not another negative. So, because I don't have any spare paper beside me, I'm going to write it on the back. I'm going to write sunshine on a cloudy day. Good sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> I hate, I, no, I don't hate that song, but it just gets stuck in your head forever, <laughs> and then it never goes away. You see? Sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh, I wrote on a cloudy. Whoops. Forgot. I'm missing an essential piece to this. Alright, that's better. Sunshine on a cloudy day. I'm going to fold this sucker up. And put it back in my jar. And it'll never ever be empty. And it'll always be full of good things. So, that's my reasons to live. And I'm not going to replace the rest of them, but I want to go through a couple more of these with you guys before I go. So much for being short, right? I have songs in here, because these songs keep me alive. This one being Honestly by Voda. And what I tend to do when I pull out songs is I play the song on my iPod if I have that chance. Um, currently, I'm not going to do that, because it's just going to take a lot of time, and I don't know if you can hear it anyway. So... Um, just look up Honestly by Voda because it's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's my mother texting me. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. Right now you guys are more important. Not more important than my mother, but you know. Finding good deals at the thrift store. <laughs> um, again, it's little things that make me so happy that I just want to stay here. Maybe, maybe you need more something more substantial. Maybe you need somebody to tell you that you're worth it and that you need you're needed here. Um, for the record, you are worth it, and I love you, and I need you here. So, you know, maybe maybe that doesn't mean much coming from a, a stranger or someone you've met once or, um, you know, somebody that you just just me. I'm just another random human being, but I hope that you really mean, you, you know that I really mean that, that I do love you, and I think you're amazing, and I think you're wonderful, and I need you to stay alive because I know that you have a purpose in this life, and I know that, um, that things are going to get better, and that it's not worth killing yourself over. And suicide is, I know this is really cliched and people say it all the time, but suicide is a temporary, or a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And these, these problems are temporary. You know, you may have been born with a deformity and you feel that it's too much and you don't want to live anymore, but that's not, you know, just because you don't have, you know, arms and legs or if you have cancer or something. I know you weren't born with can maybe you were born with cancer, I can't say that. But the thing is like it gets better. <laughs> um Nick Vojcic, I will put his name in the down bar. He is the most inspiring person I've ever seen in my whole life. He was born with no arms and no legs and he is inspiring people all the time to just keep pushing on and keep, you know, keep going. And he, um, he was going to kill himself at a young age, and I just thank God that he didn't because he is so needed here. Um, if you've seen what he can, like, what he came through, and, um, you just, you see these people and you realize that like, I personally look at him and it's like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it. Um, obviously, I have both arms and both legs and I'm really, I'm really blessed, but, um, maybe you don't. So, if that's something you're struggling with, or if it's anything, really, just know that your problem 
gets better. Maybe it won't go away, but if you put a different perspective on it, a different spin on it, it's better. It will always get better. I don't know. Um, I have to go now, but it's been really nice talking to you and vlogging with you, and I look forward to coming back and talking to you again. I love you all, and hopefully I'll have more things to say and I'll be less scatterbrained when I come back. <laughs> Hoping for a miracle in 20 days. Wish me luck. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.